What's up, guys? Welcome to local band Smokeout. Smokeout. Any genre from, from anywhere in the entire world. I, I want to hear your music. Did it work? It works! Yeah, see? I so, know what I'm doing. So you're multitasking over there. I'm a professional. Hell yeah. All right, so I'm going to I'm going to put this over here. I will share this screen on my page. How do I get out of this thing? Oh, we could do ooh, full screen. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Look at that. Damn. Who's a fucking boomer now? You're the man. You figured it out. You figured it out. Dude, this is an this is an absolute honor, man. I appreciate you doing this, Rob. Uh no, it's not it is. It is for me. But uh, I have a lot of questions for you, sir. I'm, I'm not prepared, but I am prepared. Uh, first question, how does it feel to have Out of the Shadows 2.0 out? What is the hardest song to play live? Uh, I'm not, I don't really know much about it. What is the hardest song to play live of all the songs? Yeah, on that, on that particular album. I don't know. We've only played one live. Which is low, and uh, uh, of the 2.0, we'll so just this are, th there's two parts. If we say the out of the shadows in general, yeah, including the expanded pack, uh, low is is definitely it. it th there's a double bass part, and I mentioned this earlier in my stream. The double bass part is the breakdown or whatever you want to call it. It, it it's one of those things where you capture one magical take. For like two seconds, it works, and it's it's so hard to replicate. Uh, like literally the last year before I go on tour, I practice that for three straight days, mm -hmm. just that part, and I still fuck it up. Uh, so that song is by far the hardest thing uh, that I've ever had to play. It's just it's just weird. I I'm good with my feet. But it's not my typical style. Super intricate double bass shit is not my thing. So yeah, that one definitely. Is it is it weird or simultaneously awesome to basically have been in the same band since high school and never had to go through the trials of looking for another project? Um. Okay, so it depends on how you define project. So why don't you go ahead and define project? I guess I would say main full-time focus versus side projects. Because a lot of musicians dabble on the side stuff, but to always have your baby and, you know, things go wrong, but you guys have always found your footing and continue to, to, uh, to trudge on, and it's your full-time career. And a lot of times other bands, I guess, by asking that is, uh, you know, things go wrong. They have to form something new, start over. To never have to start over. So, the reason I asked how you define project is this. During the pandemic, when we were unable to really be in groups and tour and that sort of thing, um, we were forced to find other ways to entertain. And for an artist at our level, which we've been able to do it for a living, which is a blessing because so many dream of ever making a dollar and we were fortunate enough to pay our bills doing it. Um, but yet, you know, we weren't of the celebrity stature to where, you know, we're set for multiple generations. Uh, so we had to figure out ways to entertain people. That's what we do. And I always had this dream of having some kind of hangout spot. I didn't really want a podcast, but I wanted some way to hang out with people and, you know, talk with them the way I speak with my friends. And become friends with them and we started live streaming and we started twitch and so that is a whole different project and so when you say you didn't need to do this i did need to do this and uh everyone was so supportive and helped get us through that time and it was very important for us and it was really cool everyone struggled you know for work and all that stuff during the, those couple of years right so uh that is a whole other project as far as strictly musically as another project 
Look, I I don't know, man. It is very weird. I think I'm just a masochist, and I think I am in like a I'm addicted. I don't know. I think it, my relationship to the band is very unhealthy. I I think I should. Uh, I, I definitely mentally need more time away from it because I have other goals in mind, namely my family. Uh, as a father these days, uh, I want to spend more time with them. I've always wanted to be less on the road. And unfortunately, just touring isn't the road. There's also albums that you record or write in different states than where you live. So it's challenging for me to not always have a uh, uh, that stability, the consistency of being home. But musically, I've always looked at the band as that is my outlet. That's my outlet. And I don't need to go somewhere else to do that. And we've had the conversations where it's like, Craig has said to me directly, I can't sing this song that you wrote about your family, about your dad. Like, I can't sing that song. And it's like, but this is this is our band. And it's whatever songs we make, is it's part of the band, whether I wrote it or you wrote it or whoever. Like, that's part of the project. So, uh, I don't know. There We've had those moments. And I'm like, okay, so where do I put that version of my art? Me, personally, is it not Escape the Fate? Is it only me? You know, is Escape the Fate only us together? Is it like where does it start? Where does it end? I don't know. So, like, is is there is there ever thoughts of doing exactly what you were just saying, where Craig wouldn't accept that, where maybe a a Rob solo project featuring friends may come down the road to get those songs out? I've I've put some thought to that, but if I go back, this is why I answer so long windedly. Okay is because if I go back to what I said previously, as far as the schedule, mm. you only got so many hours in the day. You have time to make these things happen, but because I want to devote that time to other things. And streaming is one of the things that I love. I don't know that I have a passion enough of my own solo stuff to do that. No, I can't sing it. I could whisper to maybe you get the melody. If you have the imagination, you might be able to see what I'm trying to do, but I can't sing. So it would have to be Robert and friends. Uh, who's like who those friends are? I don't know. And maybe in that facet, if it was called something else, maybe Craig would sing the whole thing for me, you know, because Craig's like that. Craig would, but there is a certain quality to what Escape the Fate is. And so I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I would like to just to have it and maybe people would connect to it but i also don't have the passion to do anything else much more musically than escape the fate do you still keep in contact with thrasher max the monty brothers any of those guys uh very little um max will hit me up from time to time uh just checks in he if we're ever you know playing somewhere where he's at uh, he always comes out and hangs out. I think him and Craig are a little bit closer. Uh, and he always hangs out. And he's always got a spot on stage in, the, in that sort of capacity. So he usually will play a song with us. And uh, as far as the others, not really. Uh, I do talk to Ronnie on occasion, you know. Like, I was just texting him yesterday just talking about his new song and video and stuff. And... Uh, but yeah, it's hard when everyone's got their lives, you know. Sure. I I don't you talk to my mom enough, so. <laughs> yeah. I got one yeah, final question for you, and uh, again, I I know you're super busy, but I like to ask I like to ask guests when when they had their "Hey Mama, I Made It" moment. Do you recall when when you had that specific mo moment where you called mom, or you called dad, or whoever, and you said, "We did it." I I have had several okay? okay uh and they were all roughly around the same time frame because it was so exciting i think at these days i can get advances or make money and do all these things and and we could go and play a big show and it doesn't affect you the same way because we've done it before you know mm -hmm. and so the excitement factor would have to mean that we suddenly this this late in our career 
got a song or several songs that took us to a different place. Sure. That would be a different form of excitement. That's really hard to do. Uh, but it's not impossible. It is hard to do. Uh, my moments, I will say several, is a couple. Uh, namely, and it's funny, there's a person from Argentina. When we were in South America and we were in Brazil, Caratiba, Brazil, we were going out of the venue and there was a bunch of fans and the the show was sold out they were fucking screaming for us it was insane it was like what is this what's that what the fuck's happening and then we go and are just trying to get into the van so they could take us back to the hotel and they just like were tearing down barricades or security guards trying to hold them back they just wanted anything so you felt like the beatles for a minute Felt like the fucking Beatles. Wow. They literally stole my scarf. Like, right off my neck. Your truck would be like, ah, oh, what the fuck? He stole my scarf. No, no, they didn't steal it because it was a They stole my hat. Okay? And uh, I, I wasn't uh, I wasn't as self-conscious back then, but it still bothered me. Years later, we'd be back in Brazil, and the fan gave me the hat back. Really? Yeah. That is wild. And, and this was, like, last year. So it's crazy. And, uh... But that, and then once we got in the van, they were literally shaking it. And we're like trying to drive and we're like, what the fuck? I still have videos of it. It was insane. And I'm, I'm like thinking, I told my mom, I showed her my mom, look at this. This is crazy. Uh, and of course, there's there's like at, at the time in, in Sydney Soundwave Music Festival, we went and it was just I'd never seen a crowd that big in person before. And I'm like, they're watching us right now. You kind of have this out of body experience. And I was so tired. It went so quick. And I, it just was just like, the fuck just happened. But from then on, I remembered, I will tell my grandkids about this show because it was so massive. And then lastly, I don't like to talk about the money part about of, of things so much, but I do remember there was a lot of excitement about us. And at that time, labels had a lot more money and they were giving a lot of it to us and one in particular. And, you know, we got advances on merchant for our merch deals. We got advances for our album and we just started having this money just come in. And I remember like even like a couple of months later getting a just another check in the mail for a lot of money. And it was like damn, I guess this is my new normal. And I remember my dad saying, here, you got a check. Look at this. I'm like, yeah. It's a big wow. one. It's a big one. I made it. <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't even because it was the first one. Now we're talking down the line still. It's like, whoa, like, okay, this is this is it. Like, this wasn't a fluke. Like, we're, we're here. And so, you know, um, all those times later, to have had those opportunities and, and people give you the chance to entertain them and take a chance on you that they, they can invest in your career. Uh, you appreciate it. You get frustrated years later because, yes, it's been very tumultuous. You ask about being the only guy in the band or being in the band for all those years. You you actually, it, it becomes like a marriage. It becomes like this whole thing where it's you stick it out and you ride the wave and you have to deal with it. Like I said, maybe I'm addicted to it. Maybe I just can't walk away when it gets hard. I don't know. Maybe I'm tough. Maybe I'm, I'm able to endure. Maybe I have mental strength when I feel like I'm weak, but for some reason I can continue to endure. Um, I, it's, it's, you, you go through that having those highs, the lows feel lower, you know, and then you come back here. Maybe it's not as high as, as the peak, but it's still here and it's longevity and it grows still. Then I don't know. I, I'm, I'm grateful for anything at this point. So I, I don't even know what my point is of that, but it's just those, the, the making it part has been replaced by I'm still doing it. <laughs> you know? It's amazing. So, yeah. Yeah. I don't know, man. He brought back some memories though, thinking about that stuff. I got one final question. I know you're a busy guy. Uh, if if hypothetically things for some reason ended tomorrow, what would you do? What would you do? Wow. Obviously still making music, but and I know it's kind of a wild thought, but uh, what would you do to continue your career and your, your, your calling? Listen, so um, 
I've actually asked that to myself because when the times have been hard and then what what actually angers me now is that I enjoy being on tour. I enjoy being with my bandmates. I enjoy playing the shows. I enjoy the day-to-day -day life of the traveling experience. But that wasn't always the case. I used to hate it. But as it pulls me away from my family, I do think about those things. I do think, man, maybe I, I have to stop and, and because my kids are going to be little for a little while. I truly don't know. I, I I enjoy streaming. I enjoy being an entertainer. It's still a being, still entertainment, right? And so, I have no idea what I would do. I, I maybe I start. I talked to my friend about it, and he's like, "Dude, you're a good salesman. I think you'd be good. You're good at talking. You, you could probably sell some shit with me, dude, because he makes a pretty decent living at it." And I'm like, maybe that's the security of not owning a corporation would do. But there's no security in that either. I have no clue. Music will always be in my life. I will always play music. I will always create music. I will always enjoy music. I will always listen to it. Very, it's weird. Like I just had a gravitational pull earlier to this Mexican song. I'm like, whoa, I don't know why that does something for me. I don't think it's usual. I think there's others like me, but it's not usual. So I have no clue. But I have thought about it. <laughs> Well, I, uh, I very much appreciate you doing this. Uh, un for me, unusual style of interview. I've never done a, a Discord interview, but we made it work. You you uh, multitask in the back, got the cameras going and all the good stuff. But but Rob, I've seen I've seen uh, you guys live at least three or four times, and you just destroy it every time, brother. So God bless you for, so. for giving us amazing music and killing every live show. And thank you for taking some time out to do this. I appreciate it. Well, I got to ask you a question, though. Sure. Local band smoke out. Why? Why the name? What? What's? What? What's going on with that? So uh, I've been doing it for about eleven years, and it started off wow. as a a. This I was doing reactions. I've done seven thousand reactions. So eleven years ago, when reactions weren't even Holy shit, weren't even hot. Like I was one. I feel like I was one of the first. But my my goal was to just get as stoned as possible on camera while jamming my homies' bands. Talking local. I'm in Southern California, so like L.A. bands. Uh, Anaheim, Riverside, that kind of scene. And it's in any genre show, but uh, over the years, to for growth reasons, we had to cut out, you know, just smoking 10 joints on during five minutes and stuff like that. And it's come a little a little more professional. But uh, I have fun, man. It's, it's a good place to just come check out bands you've never heard of from all over the world of any genre. And uh, some... That's amazing. That's actually really cool. And what I like about that is is if you're, if you're, local band so i'm assuming a lot of new maybe local band doesn't mean the same thing it meant when you started doing the thing uh because a lot of people just do it digitally these days but the I, the concept the idea of discovering i love that that's really cool i appreciate it thank you thank you right on man we could do it again some at some point if you want to have more your style formality of it all cool i'll hit you up on discord we'll set it up Awesome. Cheers, man. Enjoy Thanks your day. Everyone. If you haven't followed local band Smoke Out, go do it. Peace. Thanks.